Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well and everyone is taking all of the uh, precautionary measures that they need to take in order to stay safe. Uh, while we're at home we decided to check some projects off our list. My, my husband is put, putting this trim around the baseboards. Um, this, project's, this project was supposed to have been done a long time ago but um, you know how things happen in life and you just don't get to it. So uh, he's um, doing it now and he's moving pretty quickly. Um, he pre-cut the um, trim to make it easier for him just to glue and to nail. So that's what we're doing today. We're just getting some things done around the house and I'm also going to change, make some changes in the house by changing some furniture around and also changing some decor. Now right here I'm just moving this decor so he can get to this area. After he finished um, gluing and nailing, we have corking to do and also painting. But that project is going to wait for another day because we don't have all the materials that we need to do it. And right now, I'm not trying to go in the stores uh, to purchase the products. So we're just going to save that for a later date and we're just going to continue on doing some more projects around the home. Um, hopefully, this coronavirus will uh, get under control and we'll be able to go in the stores and continue with our daily lives. So that's what I'm hoping and praying that we will soon be back to our regular lives and um, doing the things that we used to do. Hopefully. Now right here with this trim, my husband made a mistake and got some glue on the floor. So I'm just handing him a wet paper towel so that he can wipe it up. But I just hope that you guys are keeping busy, getting some chores done around your home. Um, this is the best time to do it, just to stay busy and uh, just to stay close to home. I mean, my home is my comfort place. That's where I find serenity and peace. So, uh, I don't mind staying home. But, I like going shopping though. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie about that. I really like going shopping, but okay, if this is the time I have to stay at home, then I'll just stay at home. Now this is my kitchen and this is what it's looking like guys. Um. We touch, we break, make it seem like we feel the same. We Okay, as I'm removing these items, I already have a style pictured in my head that I would like to see here. So let's see if I can accomplish that. Now right here I have this little chase bench with this crochet uh, throw. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this crochet throw on this bench, but um, let's see if it works. Then I have these uh, pillows here that I had on my sofa and also some was on this bench. I just thought that that pop of yellow is springy. Um, 
a nice Easter color also. And it will also brighten up this area. Now as for this little basket, I'm going to bring it back and I'm just going to um, do some adjustment to that little basket. You know, sometimes you have to like work with it a little bit to get it just how you would like it. So I have this little bit of greenery and I said I'm going to place it right in the corner of this basket just to liven it up and liven up the space just to give it that little touch of elegance. So now this is how it's looking. Now mind you, I might change it later on. I'm probably going to add to it, take some things away. <laughs> Okay, but this is how it's looking now. I feel that that little vase there with the yellow flower has that little special touch. I think this entryway look welcoming and warm. It gives your home a cheerful feel. Even these little yellow um, floral flowers here that send those vines. I think it adds just a little touch to the entryway. Okay, now as you can see, I placed this table in our kitchen area. I'm just giving it a little polishing just to shine it up a bit. And now I'm going to start decorating this little table. Now that I have this little ram's head here, and also this cute little lamp. I'm not sure if those two decor match, but I'm just trying to see how it's going to look. Well, that was fast. I did not like it. So I am removing these items. Okay, now I'm going to try this wicker basket here with the potpourri. And my husband had these curtains tied up around this little knob here while he was doing the uh, trim molding. I didn't like that. Okay, now I have these two faux aloe plants here that I had on my console table. I'm just going to bring that to this area. And I have this cute little book, How to Make a House a Home. I'm going to place that right in the center and let's see how this looks. So I'm standing back and I'm looking, not liking it. Sometimes you have to make changes to try to accomplish the look you're trying to achieve and so far I'm not finding that so I placed this little terrarium here that was on my council table and I'm going to place that little ram's hair right at the bottom Okay, now let's see. No, I don't like that. Guys, when it comes to style, you gotta play around with the decor.
que na rinça na rua. Ok? <clears throat> Obviously, guys, as you can see, I didn't like that. So I decided to bring this this wicker basket back. Well, it's not a basket, a boat shape basket. Oh, don't like that. So you know what, guys? You know what I decided? I decided that this little table here do not belong in the kitchen area. Okay, I think it's a little too formal for this area. So I, right now, I am gonna put it in my formal dining room area. So right here, I'm just placing those items back that I removed for my husband to do the trim with. To do the um, trim, the trim around the wall. And, uh, Let's see how this table looks in here. And as you can see, that table matches the formal dining room table, the wood tone. So which is pretty good. Now I had these little animal figurines on the windowsill, so I'm just removing them. Okay, I think that's starting to look better already. Now I'm gonna bring back these two black lamps. So far guys, I like how it's looking. I think this is the area for that table. I'm gonna place this little ram's head right in the center. I'm just gonna remove this elephant because I think it's too much decor in one little space. Now I'm gonna plate this little shell here, hmm. right at the bottom. And let's see how this looks. Okay, I think I like it. I think this is it. This is where it needs to be. I may add a little bit more to the table. But so far, this is the foundation. Okay, now I'm back in the kitchen area and I am still trying to decorate this little area here. So I have this little decorative little and I have this little line the core. So guys, I'm looking at that. I don't know. I don't like it. I think it's a little too heavy for the area. So now guys, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to bring this plant in that I had in my office. So let's see how this looks. 
I mean, you can't go wrong with a plant. Plant bring life to an area. So, so far, I think I need this plant. Something light, don't take up a lot of space, not too heavy. Okay, I am back in my great room. I'm just placing these items where they were. I have these faux aloe plants that I'm placing back on the console table. I'm going to bring back the terrarium. And I have these uh, candles that I'm going to add. And that completes this look. Okay, I'm really liking how I look. I love all the changes that I made in our home. It made our home look different. My entryway, I love it now. I'm just giving you an overview of all the changes that I've made. It's just so funny how this changing furniture around, switching out the core can make a difference. And I really love how it turned out. I had so much fun doing this guy while I was home. You know, it was just something else to do to bypass time. And I really enjoyed it. And I love how our home looked. So until next time, keep on smiling. Stay encouraged, be safe, and be blessed.